Fireworks at Jacksonville City Hall tonight as police arrested Northside Coalition President Ben Frazier. He was protesting Confederate monuments as community members on both sides of the issue filled city council chambers to share their thoughts. And that video right there doesn't show the arrest, but Zach Wilcox is about to show you what happened after that. He joins us live from James Weldon Johnson Park, where Take Him Down Jacks held a protest this afternoon ahead of the meeting. And Zach, this issue is back in front of city council members. Yeah, Anthony, it's been about two and a half years since this monument at James Olden Johnson Park came down and there hasn't been another one to come down since. And so the whole issue as a whole has kind of been in and out of the headlines ever since then, but it really recently reemerged after a uh, Confederate flag and a message about the monuments flew over the recent uh, Jags Ravens game. And so ever since then, it's been kind of back in the limelight now. And for one protester, he was willing to get in the back of a squad car tonight to make his point. Remove Confederate monuments. Am I being arrested? Each speaker at City Council got 65 seconds to state their case for or against Confederate monuments. Activist Ben Frazier went over that and refused to leave the podium. He was taken out of the building in handcuffs, escorted by half a dozen police officers. Officer, can you tell us what he was arrested for? Uh, they're actually going to see if he's eligible for an NTA notice to appear. Trespassing after warning, pretty much, yeah. Before Frazier was removed from the building, dozens of people made sure to get their two cents in. Not going to take it. Any longer. Members of Take Him Down Jacks gathered for a rally before the meeting wearing yellow. Enough is enough. Racism old, is old and have no places in our society today. Nobody wants to see monuments to remind them of slavery and abuse in the past. But there was also a sea of red supporters of the monuments. It represents the sacrifices of women between 1861 and 1865. Some of them losing their lives, some of them losing their families, but all enduring one of the hardest periods in Florida's history. Council member Tyrona Clark Murray wasn't on the council when it last debated the issue, but says she's open to the council taking it back up again or putting it on a ballot for voters to decide. I'm good either way. I know where I would stand. My vote was presented to city council and it was totally in our hands. I know exactly where I would stand. Now, the city council had about 115 things on the agenda, but monuments actually was not one of them, so they didn't address the issue at all. But Mayor Lenny Curry sure did. He took to Twitter just a few minutes ago, shared his thoughts, says that he set money aside an upcoming budget about the issue, and he thinks it's time that city council members take a vote, yay or nay, one way or the other. Here, He thinks it's finally time for them to make that decision. Now, as for Frazier, his attorney said that he will be representing him when he makes a first appearance tomorrow morning. In downtown, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.